In an average year, farmers in our state will grow corn on more than 300,000 acres of Alabama soil. Now the crops generally used to feed chickens and other livestock. But more and more, hunters are buying corn to lure deer to their land. Now this has created a new market for farmers, which has led to the development of a new business called maize craze. Harvest season is an exciting time for farmers. Thomas Murray and his sons grew corn on more than 700 acres in 2020. For them, harvest time got even more exciting as three machines they posted on highways near their farm increased the value of their crop by a third. Well, if you carry the chicken plants, you get $4 a bushel. And if you put it in here, I get six. The machines are called maize craze, named after the Native American word for corn. They were designed and built by two friends from Franklin County and allow people to buy field corn 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Ben, my business partner, uh, he, he's been farming as long as I've known him. He farms corn and uh, just talking to him and the struggles that farmers have and he had had about, you know, growing, spending all summer growing crops and, and you're just subject to whatever people are willing to pay. Uh, and we'd seen, a, seen an ice machine and I, I asked him, I said, well, what, what, you ever thought about doing something like that for maybe corn? And we just it kind of expanded on that and it started really just as a need that he had. They built their first machine in Ben's garage in 2016 and formed a company the following year. Today, there are 11 machines spread across the state from Tuscumbia in northwest Alabama to Bruton near the Florida line, with others planned in Louisiana and Arkansas soon. Jason says the real value to maize craze is that it gives farmers the opportunity to set their own price for their commodity. This machine, you can take your product and it's uh, market price when you put it in there. It travels 17 feet down an auger and it's worth whatever you want to sell it for. And that's something that they haven't had the, the ability to do unless they bagged it. So you're looking at a lot of, you know, doubling your money. And I don't know of another piece of equipment where you can just run it through it without processing it and it's worth more money. The machines are completely automatic. Hunters or folks who just want to feed deer or a few farm animals in their backyard put cash into the machine or at the newer ones use a credit card. The corn is then weighed on certified scales and depending on how much money was put in, the appropriate amount is dispensed into the customer's container from 20 pounds to 550. Besides the increase in price, Jason says another benefit to the farmer is avoiding the inconvenience of having to stop what you're doing every time somebody comes to the farm wanting to buy corn. Maize craze requires very little attention. You do have to, you know, obviously have to come out and keep the, keep the uh, bin full, and that's what you want. You want to you constantly run out. Uh, so that's a good sign. You know, when the auger's turning, you're making money. Joining us now to talk more about maize craze is William Green, Director of the Wildlife Division at the Alabama Farmers Federation. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you all for having me. So we've seen how maize craze is a benefit to farmers. How does this benefit hunters? So as we've seen, uh, as long as you have power, you can really put these machines anywhere. Uh, this makes it really convenient for uh, our hunters in Alabama who hunt uh, pretty remote rural areas, uh, as well as maybe uh, being a little bit cheaper than you can buy in a store. And often when we think about hunting, we think about it as recreation, but this is really a business in Alabama for a lot of people. So what does it mean as far as the business in Alabama of hunting? Absolutely. You know, Alabama has, uh, hunting is almost a billion dollar industry in the state. Um, it touches everything in rural Alabama from equipment sales to land sales to leasing uh, to your feed and seed stores. Uh, really anything you can think of uh, is to almost tied back to hunting. Um, rural Alabama really depends on hunting uh, for a lot of its income uh, and without it, a lot of our smaller towns might dry up. In addition to the economy though, it's also important for the environment. Absolutely. You know, our, our hunters in Alabama take a lot of pride in being good stewards of the land, uh, whether that's managing for water quality or it, any uh, type of different wildlife species, uh, our hunters usually do a pretty good job of taking care of the land. 
And we've had some changes in laws here recently. Tell us if you are interested in hunting over corn, what does somebody have to do to fulfill the state requirement? Sure, so starting a couple of years ago, Alabama passed a new regulation uh, requiring hunters to purchase a uh, bait license or stamp uh, in order to hunt over corn. This is in addition to your regular hunting license. All right, William, thanks so much for being with us today. Absolutely, thank y'all for having me. Up next on Simply Southern, Stacy Little is taking breakfast to a whole new level with his praline bacon. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a home-cooked meal with fresh vegetables from the garden. With Bonnie Plants from your local quality co-op store, you can enjoy the freshest vegetables right from your own backyard. And no matter if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, your quality co-op store has exactly what you need to get the most out of your plants. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. I'm Grover Plunkett. Cattle business uh, really is the center of what we do on the farm. We have about 250 uh, brood cows, and now we're in the tree business a little bit too. I don't know if I can pinpoint a date that I found out about out on farm credit. They've always been around. My grandfather did business with them. Uh, my dad did business with them, and uh, here we are. So you don't want to talk to somebody that doesn't understand what you do. If you've never had the opportunity to experience the wonder and mystery of Stonehenge, Alabama has one too. Minus the stone, Bama Hinge is a fiberglass twin of England's famous attraction, just a short walk off the Barber Parkway south of Alberta. The fiberglass sculpture is the work of Virginia artist Mark Klein, one of several he created for billionaire George Barber along the road to Barber Marina. Per Barber's request, the fiberglass stones of Bama Hinge are built to the same dimensions as Stonehenge, but were probably a little easier to move into place. There are a number of theories on the purpose of England's famous stone circle, but there's no mystery with its Alabama counterpart. A great backdrop for a family photo and a unique Alabama sidetrack. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweet Grown Alabama is such an amazing brand. It'll be great for consumers to be able to connect immediately with an Alabama grown or made product. Sweet Grown Alabama, what it means to us is community. By buying Sweet Grown Alabama, you are able to support your community um, and kind of play your part and help the farmers. There's a, a huge advantage uh, just to your local community by buying local, whether it's local farms or local businesses. Find Sweet Grown Alabama farms, markets, restaurants, and stores near you at sweetgrownalabama.org. 